Hi, in the previous session we had discussed about comparison test for testing whether a series is convergent or not. Okay. In this session we will be discussing two more tests called ratio and root test. Okay. So, both these tests are usually used for non-negative series okay, where the terms UK are actually greater or equal to 0. So, these ratio and root tests are applicable for non-negative series, infinite series. Okay. Now, why we want this ratio and root test? Okay, the main problem with comparison test is that you need to guess, guess a another test when you are given a series sigma ak, you need to guess another series sigma bk with which you can compare this ak. Okay, that is the main problem of comparison test. You need to always guess a new series called some other new series, but it is not always ap applicable in every series. Okay, so if the series is basically consists of only some polynomials or rational functions, you can always take this k outside and you can guess the series pk, but it is not always applicable in series containing uh, log e or something like that. So it is very difficult in every case. So for those problems, we are actually devising somewhat new problems called ratio and root test. Okay, in ratio and root test, what you are doing is that we are not going to construct a new series with the given series itself. You will say whether it is convergent or not. Okay, suppose you are giving given series called sigma uk just using the terms uk itself you can say whether the series is convergent or not there is no need to construct a new series okay that is the benefit of this ratio and root test okay but the major problem of all these tests including comparison test is that you can't deal with every series using these tests that is for that you need more one more test but for our syllabus and for our course only these three tests are required presently okay so basically i'm going to talk about ratio and root test which uses only the terms of the given series to test whether a series is convergent or not okay now let us uh, go for the statement of the ratio test okay it's very simple okay this is a statement okay suppose we have been given a series sigma uk what you have to do is that you just form this ratio uk plus 1 by uk that is k plus 1 term by uk okay and just take limit k tends to infinity uk plus 1 by uk that is why it is called ratio okay you are just taking the ratio of the term so just take uk plus 1 by uk and allocate to go to infinity and if it is a, if you are getting a finite limit l and suppose if this l is less than 1 then the series will converge and if this l is greater than 1 the series will diverge okay and if l is equal to 1 this ratio test will fail you can't say some some series can converge some series can, can diverge so okay so that's the idea just form uk plus 1 by uk okay and find the limit as k tends to infinity if that limit is less than 1 your series will converge if the limit is greater than 1 definitely your series will diverge and if the L limit l is equal to 1 we can't say particularly suppose because uh, this series some series will converge if l is equal to 1 and some series will diverge if l is equal to if l is equal to 1 i'll show some examples also okay so before that just form this this is the ratio test you're just taking the ratios of the terms only you are not bringing any new series here okay so this is the ratio test okay so before we start with problems i will give you only one, one important limit also which is yeah, usually useful in many problems that is called e okay so this is one important limit which you have to study it's very important very important so that is the value of e okay what it is actually limit you have to you may have studied seen this in calculus courses before also but if you have not seen just see this limit 1 plus 1 by k raised to k is equal to e there are many variations of this that is limit uh, x tends to 0 1 plus x raised to 1 plus 1 by x this is also e many variations are there mainly we will be using this variation only or in other words i can also take limit k plus 1 by k the old raised to k where k tends to infinity i am just taking the ratio here okay so this quantity is very important because in some applications you may need to use this limit okay so this is also very important okay so with these ideas in our mind let us now try to do some problems okay just remember ratio test just take the k plus 1 by k term uh, form the ratio and just allow k to go to infinity get the limit if the limit is less than 1 the series will converge if the limit is greater than 1 the series will diverge if it is equal to 1 we will have to use some other methods that also we will discuss okay let us do some problems now okay so let us look at this series sigma 1 by k for k factorial okay so here i am going to use the ratio uh, here comparison test is not possible because you cannot take k outside okay comparison test is the easiest one but it is not possible here because you cannot k take k outside because it is k factorial coming so what i will do is that i will write the uk the term it is actually 1 by k factorial now can you tell me the uk plus 1 term it is actually 1 by k plus 1 factorial so what is our uk plus 1 by uk it is nothing but 
1 by k plus 1 factorial by 1 by k factorial. Please write with me itself, only then you will understand. It's very simple. So, it is actually k factorial by k plus 1 factorial. So, what is it? It is actually 1 by k plus 1. So, what will happen when limit k tends to infinity u k plus 1 by u k happens? It is actually limit k tends to infinity 1 by k plus 1, which is not actually 0, which is less than 1. Therefore, this series is convergent. Okay. Very simple, just form u k, write u k plus 1, then form u k plus 1 by u k, then you apply the limits. Okay. Now, it is less than 1, therefore, it is convergent. Okay. Moving forward, one more problem. Can you do this problem by yourself? k by 2 raised to k. Okay. So, here also it is not possible to take k outside because there is a factor of 2 raised to k either. So, comparison just is not easily possible. So, how, what will you do? So, your u k is actually, please write it yourself, k by 2 raised to k, u k plus 1 is actually it is k plus 1 by 2 raised to k plus 1. Be careful what you write. So, it is u k plus 1 by u k. What is it? It is nothing but k plus 1 by 2 raised to k plus 1 divided by k by 2 raised to k. So, let us try to simplify this k plus 1 by 2 raised to k plus 1 into 2 raised to k by k. I think 2 raised to k and this uh, k plus we will get cancelled out. We will just be getting 2 in the denominator. So, it is actually k plus 1 by 2k. Okay. So, that is it. Now, apply the limit. Limit k tends to infinity. What will happen? So, limit k tends to infinity u k plus 1 by u k is this, which is actually equal to take the maximum power of k outside. So, it is actually k into 1 plus 1 by k, denominator we have uh, 2k, this k will cancel out, so we will be getting the value as 1 by 2, which is less than 1, therefore the series is also convergent, okay, very straightforward, okay, so I hope it is clear, please try it by yourself, only then you will understand, let us do one more question, this question, please check this, check out this question, k raised to k by k factor, okay, so what does it, it is actually limit, uh, so your uk is actually, k raised to k by k factorial. So, what is your u k plus 1? It will be simply replace k by k plus 1. k plus 1 raised to k plus 1 by uh, k plus 1 factorial. So, what is u k plus 1 by u k? u k plus 1 by u k. So, it is actually k plus 1 raised to k plus 1 by k plus 1 factorial. Okay, divided by uh, k raised to k by k factorial. Okay, so it is a very some more calculations are required here. So, be careful k plus 1 raised to k plus 1 by k plus 1 factorial into k factorial by k raised to k. So, this k factorial and k plus 1 factorial you can cancel it out. You will be getting one k plus 1 here. Okay. So, because k plus 1 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into etcetera k into k plus 1. So, here you can cancel out those terms and you will be getting one k plus 1. Okay. If k factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 up to k here it will, will be getting up to k into k plus 1. Okay, so there is a factor of k plus 1 coming here. And now this k plus 1 and I can cancel one k plus 1 from, from numerator also. So the numerator will be getting it as k plus 1 raised to k because I am cancelling this denominator with numerator divided by k raised to k or simply it is your k plus 1 by k the whole raised to k. Okay, so what is your limit now? Your limit is actually limit uh, k tends to infinity okay k plus 1 by k the whole raised to k can you tell me the value of this one what is the value of this okay this we have already discussed this is our so if i write this as as i already discussed in the previous slide this is your e okay so it is just look at that it is limit k tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by k the whole raised to k the value is actually e okay now what is the value of e you know that e is actually 2 point something so it is actually greater than 1 okay so what does that mean that means this series is divergent okay so this series is divergent okay so i hope that is also clear so only thing is that you have used the value of e here so just write it down other others everything is, is very easy just you have to do some computations only okay let us do this problem also 2k factorial by 4 raised to k okay so here also just look at this here the index is starting from k is equal to 3 so don't worry you can write uk is actually just equal to 2k factorial by 4 raised to k. Don't worry about this index because you know that the convergence or divergence does not depend upon addition or deletion of some few terms. So, just 
right it as the sigil don't look for the k is equal to 3 and just put k is equal to k plus 3 something like that just write it as uk itself because a few terms in which it is moved here and there it will not affect the convergence only thing in ratio test is that you have to just take the successive terms here okay so if i take uk as this the next term should be based on k plus 1 that's it okay so don't be confused about this index here okay you can just take it as itself okay now what is your uk plus 1 your uk plus 1 you replace k by k plus 1 so be careful how you replace so you when i replace k by k plus 1 remember it is 2 into k plus 1 not 2 k plus 1 okay don't make that mistake because i am going to replace k by k plus 1 so 2 into k plus 1 factorial by 4 raised to k plus 1 some people will write this as actually 2 k plus 1 factorial by 4 raised to k plus 1 that is wrong because your k is being replaced by k plus 1 so k should be 2 into k plus 1 so that effectively you will be getting this as 2 k plus 2 factorial by 4 raised to k plus 1 okay so don't make that mistake it is 2 into k plus 1 okay so that is it now if you take uk plus 1 by uk what will you get so if you take uk plus 1 by uk you will be getting this as 2k plus 2 factorial by 4 raised to k plus 1 into uk is actually 2k factorial into 4 raised to k so this 2k factorial and 2k plus 2 factorial you can cancel out you'll be getting it as 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 2 right why why is it so because uh, this 2k plus 2 factorial is 1 into 2 into etc 2k into 2k plus 1 into 2k in plus 2 okay and your 2k factor is just 1 into 2 into x or 2k so those terms will cancel out so remaining will get as 2k plus 1 in, into 2k plus 2 divided by 4 raised to k by 4 raised to k plus 1 you can cancel out and you will get this as just 4 okay so 4 raised to k by 4 raised to k plus 1 you will be getting this as just 4 so this is your uk plus 1 by uk okay and what will happen if you take limit k tends to infinity uk plus 1 by uk what is it is actually limit k tends to infinity 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 2 by 4 if you look at this both the k's are lying in the numerator only so if you take k to infinity definitely this will go to infinity only why because both the k's are lying if you even if you take k outside nothing is there to cancel out both the k's are lying in the numerator so when k goes to infinity the numerator will go to infinity so that means this the value limit is actually greater than 1 so therefore this is divergence so this is a divergence series okay so that's it very simple one let us move forward one more question a limit k tends to k is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2k minus 1 so if you look at this problem here so your uk is actually uh, 1 by 2k minus 1 your uk plus 1 write it clearly it is actually 1 by 2k plus 1 okay minus or not don't write 1 by 2k plus 1 here it is 2k plus 2 actually so it is actually you will be getting this as 1 by 2k plus 1 actually okay so because you will be getting it as 1 by 2k plus 2 minus 1 so 1 by 2k plus 1 so your uk plus 1 by uk is actually 1 by 2k plus 1 into 2k minus 1 okay so when you take limit what will you get limit k tends to infinity 2k minus 1 by 2k plus 1 is actually if you take k outside you will be getting this as a limit k tends to infinity k into 2 minus 1 by k by k into 2 plus 1 by k so the limit value will be 1 therefore you can't this test will not help you because the value is 1 so you can't say whether the series is divergent or not but if you just look closely at the series you can easily say whether it is divergent or not by looking at you can use some other familiar test if you just look at this easily you can take k outside in the denominator so if you look use comparison test here your 1 by 2k minus 1 if i take k outside it is actually 1 by 2 minus 1 by k here okay so if you just take the k outside here and you compare with the series 1 by k what will happen you will be getting the value as 1 by 2 only okay if you compare with the series ak by bk where bk is just 1 by k the limiting value will be 1 by 2 which means that this series and the series 1 by k will converge or diverge together but 1 by k is divergent therefore this is also divergent so so that means ratio test need not work in every case in those cases sometimes comparison test may work sometimes you may have to use some other test also okay so always don't expect a ratio test to work any test will not work in that manner in every case okay you will have to use a combination of tests 
okay but for us only we have only basically three tests are there there are more tests called raps test logarithm test gauss test and everything but that is not there in your syllabus only for us only some simple three tests are there so just study that but remember always it need not work okay now that is it now let us move on to the next final test which is root test that is also very simple the root test is actually occurs in situations in which your terms will contain some power like some power raised some raised to k so whenever your terms contain some quantity like raised to k for example if it is 1 by k factorial raised to k or 1k by 2 raised to k suppose the terms are like something raised to k so in those situations we may have to use root test now i'll give you the statement the statement is also basically like the same only okay so suppose it may okay is a series of positive terms and suppose if you can take you limit k tends to infinity qk raised to 1 by k suppose this is the limit of this quantity if it is less than 1 just like a ratio test it will converge if it is greater than 1 the series will diverge if it is equal to 1 the test will fail okay so this is the root test so usually this root test occurs in situations in which your series is like maybe some k k plus 1 by k raised so it is like, like this only when you are here some power of some raised to k in the terms okay so in those type of series you will be using this root test to nullify this effect of this power okay so only in those type of series you will be using this root test rest everywhere you will be using either comparison test or ratio test that's the idea which you want to use okay now let's look at some examples so that you will understand which type of series are being discussed here look at this first question here so if you look at this question you can see that this series contains a power of raised to k so naturally you will be using ratio test here okay so what does the ratio test say just look at uk raised to 1 by k and look at the limit if the limit is less than 1 it will converge and if it is greater than 1 it will diverge that's the idea so if you look at this one your uk is actually uh, 4 4k minus 5 by 2k plus 1 the whole raised to k only don't be worried about this index it is not required just look at the term because the first few terms will not affect the convergence or divergence so what is your uk raised to 1 by k uk raised to 1 by k is 4k minus 5 by 2k plus 1 see it's very easy okay now what is limit k tends to infinity uh, uk raised to 1 by k so it will be actually you can take k outside so it is actually limit k tends to infinity k into 4 minus 5 by k by k into 2 plus 1 by k. Okay, so k gets cancelled out. So the value is actually 2, which is greater than 1. Therefore, the series diverges. Okay, very simple. Just form u k raised to 1 by k. How will you apply root test? If your terms contain some power of k, there you will be obviously will be applying the root test. That's it. Nothing new is there. So when you are, when you get the new term, just find the limit as k tends to infinity. You will be getting the value. So that is it. Okay, so one more example. So look at this question here. One by log k plus one whole raised to k here. So here also we can see that it's the power of k coming. So your u k is actually one by log k plus. This is natural logarithm. One by log k plus one whole raised to k. Okay, so u k raised to one by k is nothing but one by log k plus one. Okay, now now what is limit k tends to infinity? U k raised to one by k is nothing but one by k uh, sorry limit k tends to infinity uh, 1 by log k plus 1 now as k goes to infinity log k plus 1 also goes to infinity that means this quantity will be zero okay so this is zero therefore this series will converge okay because your limit is less than 1 okay so very simple problem okay one more problem here uh, limit you can, i hope you can do it by yourself itself 1 by 1 plus k the whole raised to k so your uk is actually 1 by 1 plus k the whole raised to k right what is your uk raised to 1 by k since there is a power of raised to k you have to use a ratio uh, root test here so it is 1 by 1 plus k now if you apply the limits what will you get this is actually limit k tends to infinity 1 by 1 plus k which is nothing but zero because as k goes to infinity the number will go to infinity so will be it is zero therefore this series also will converge so that is ratio test okay so i hope it is clear so we have discussed two tests now root test and also the ratio test okay thank you